Hey guys, welcome to ED Technology and in today's video, we are continuing forward on data pre-processing. So in earlier video, we have seen how to use a Waker tool for, uh, you know, data pre-processing. We saw different filters and today we are going to add on to that. So let us uh, start with Waker. So I go to my programs and start Waker 3.8. So right now, this is the latest one which we have. By the time you're watching video, if it is getting updated, you may download the same from Waikato University website. All right, as you know uh, that this is Weka GUI Chooser and in that whatever, you know, experimental level work or the basic work we are doing, we'll be doing in the Explorer. So in order to perform any sort of pre-processing, what we have to do is we have to load up the data. So that's there in the C drive, program files, and here I have Weka 3.8. All right and that i got data and today i'm going to work with iris.r file or iris.arff file right so basically a quick introduction for those who are watching this video for the first time we got uh, you know attribute and instances so basically current relation data in here so i got five attributes 150 instances and i can see all the attributes in here on selection of any uh, attribute I can actually see the details about that particular attribute in here. So there are values which are starting from 4.3 goes up to 7.9 35 distinct values, right? And there's no missing value in here. All the values are numeric types. But now what happens is guys in certain cases, you need data which is available in the, you know, uh, integer form like this is decimal value. 4.3, 7.9, certain classification algorithm would prefer the data in a way where it is pure integer. So uh, that's not a problem. And that's what data pre-processing is all about. Converting the data into a form which a machine learning or a data mining algorithm understands. So let us see a small example. Uh, we are selecting the sepal uh, length. The first attribute, as you can see, the minimum value is 4.3 maximum is 7.9 and it has all the values in the range of you know decimal in order to check this value we'll do one more thing i'll go to my c drive i'll go to the program files there is weka data and there is iris yeah so when i open this file with the notepad yeah so uh we have seen and we have discussed this in earlier tutorials. So if you're not referred, I would suggest you to see it again. Otherwise, you know, you're watching this for the first time. This is our file attribute relation file format. So it gives you all the details of the title of the file. What are the sources past usage? And what is important for us is from here, this particular section, the file begins and an R file or an ARFF file basically contains three section. One is relation section, second is attribute section, and third is the data. And in here, if you scroll down to see the data, this first particular uh, value is related to the sepal length. And as you can see it here, in each of the attribute instance, we have the values in numeric form, which is having decimal values, right? So this was for your basic understanding. And let us go back to Weka. So we have selected sepal length. We apply pre-processing filters. In this, we are going to work with, you know, we are trying to convert this into integer values. So we will be using unsupervised attribute. And when you scroll down here, somewhere in between, you will see numeric transform. So this is the uh, particular filter which we'll be using. And as soon as you uh, choose the filter, you can apply in here. So application is done, but there is no change in here. So why is there's no change? We'll see that. So on the white space in this filter area, once you click, you will have a dialog box. This dialog box allows you to edit the particular filter because as I mentioned earlier in the videos also, this Weka tool, whole Weka tool is actually coded in Java and all the other uh, you know functions fil filters or even machine learning algorithms are coded in java 
So with the help of that, I'll be modifying this filter. I'll be giving attribute indices one in here. And instead of method absolute, I'll be calling the floor. So basically floor is a Java method which actually calls for integer values. I'll be pressing OK here. And now again, I'll be clicking on apply. Uh, also, you can see this wake up tool will uh, wake up bird will move in case of processing here. It will be very low. So uh, it will be a small movement. But in case you're worried, there's no change on the screen. Please check here. It will tell you whether the processing is happening or not. So I'll go to apply. I apply this. And as you can see here, the visualization has changed even in the attribute section instead of 35, which was earlier value. Now we have four distinct values, minimum being four and maximum being seven, right? So this is how you can apply numeric transform on the data. So we have taken iris.off file uh, for, you know, transforming the data into uh, integer values, removing the decimal points, right? Which will be helpful, as I said, for the classification purpose and many other places also. So this is it for today's tutorial. For furthermore tutorials on the same pipe of Veka and data mining, please refer our channel.